Greetings from beautiful downtown Paris. Here's a page from my new book. How to forgive the unforgivable because you deserve peace. I grew up in a home that was very comfortable. We always had food, nice clothes, nice cars. We went on vacations. We went out to eat. I never had to worry about material, material, material and tangible needs. Sadly, I don't recall being loved. There was lots of talk about love, but love was just a word. Love, I was taught, operated on a quid pro quo system. Do you know what I'm talking about? If you did the right things, according to the hand that feeds you, you are fed well. What if doing the right things for you meant your decisions were unacceptable for someone else? What if there were repercussions for simply doing the right thing? Hmm. The abused child is taught confusion. The adult they become cannot always be sure if they have healed and transcended this confusion or if it became a part of who they are. The lack of intention in the survivor's reaction and the vile explanation behind the behavior often, so it seems, are lost in favor of punishment, abandonment, and betrayal. If you would not yell at a three-year-old who had an accident, why scream at an adult who was taught the ways of the world via abuse? And if you become this adult, and the world scorns, degrades, and forcibly detaches you, then you will learn the hard way that forgiving the unforgivable may possibly be your gateway to peace. And that's what Better Day is, is all about. Have a beautiful day. See you soon.